Well, hello, Marcus. Welcome to UA Sport Guide. How are you? Uh, we're here today talking about your latest event, uh, the run up Jebel Hafiz Mountain in Alain, yeah. Abu Dhabi. Can you explain a bit more about the event? Yeah, uh, we're. We're going down to run uh, up Jebel Hafi uh, on the 16th of December. Uh, we were there in July uh, to run up it with uh, with a charity event for John Beaton. Um, and since then, I've had quite a few people contact me and say, "When are we going back?" Uh, the people that ran it and also people that missed it, obviously quite keen to go and give it another shot now uh, in the middle of winter when it's not quite as hot as it was in uh, in July. So we're off back there in a few weeks uh, to get that done. Um, the actual mountain itself, it's quite a big task. I mean, can you give a bit more of an outline um, about the distance and, yeah. uh, and stuff? <laughs> well, when we went down last time, we thought it was uh, 10k from the bottom to the top. Um, it actually worked out that it was 13 and a half. Uh, so there's another three and a half k on the end. So it's uh, it's 13 and a half k from from right at the bottom to, to to the top, where there's a great view from the top, um, with quite a steep ascent at times. It's one of the biggest mountains in the uh, in the UAE. Um, and then there's the added option when you're at the top um, to get back down to the bottom again. Um, we we've put on cars uh, in the last run, and we'll we'll put on cars again in this run to take people back down who don't want to run. But if you want to run up and back down, then it's 27k so yeah it's not short but it's it's a great test so you've got to, going to have to be have a level of fitness really to even attempt just going up the hill yeah but you'd be surprised we had an, and this was the great thing about the event um, that we did for John in uh, in July is that a lot of people just came and got involved and it's it's a lot about belief and, and, and really testing yourself and a lot of people that didn't think they could run the, the 10k or 13 and a half k to the top proved to themselves that they can actually do it and Strangely enough, it's those people that have been asking me when we're going back. Um, so it's it's a little bit of self-belief, or a lot of self-belief, a little bit more um, sort of mental strength and, 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 and a bit of, as we say, in a fight. Um, and it got people to the top. So yeah, there's a it's it's a fair it's a crack of a hill. Um, but I think the the joy and the sort of uh, you know the feeling that people get at the end is is, is worth the uh, the temporary pain that they go through to get up there. Well, it sounds like an awesome idea. Um, how can people actually get involved uh, or register? Or, or, just you, know? uh, you need to register just so I know how many people are coming because we're going to have uh, we're going to have water and a support crew. So it'd be great if we knew how many people are coming. You can drop me an email to winning. Uh, at innerfight.com and I'll give you all the, all the details on that and there's obviously an event set up on Facebook if you go to the Inner Fight uh, Facebook page you'll get all the information there as well Okay Marcus, thanks for your time um, good luck with the event Thanks a lot, we and, look uh, forward to seeing you down there Paul <laughs> Not running it anyway <laughs> <laughs> Support then, and if, if anyone does want to come down to support please just let me know, we can have as, as many you can't have enough support crew basically so if you just want to be involved in a great event with a load of people running up a hill on a Friday morning at 6am on December the 16th, give me a shout, we'd really value your help. Great.